Hi, my name is Sonza and welcome back to Blue's Junction episode 5. This is a city skyline series in which I build an American city, but it's mostly from my imagination, so there might be some inaccuracies. So, in this episode, we'll be building a light rail line by the lake. It actually... well, line lines because it or I originally started with like one line and I later changed it to two lines because there were two destinations I wanted to serve with the light rail so what you're seeing right now is me building the actual railway and yeah I first thought that it would connect near one of the commuter rail stations but that was there were too many sharp corners so I built it somewhere else and yeah, I first thought that this might look decent but then I thought that I sh should connect a different part of the suburb because there is a part where it is there is literally nothing there is also so I decided to connect it to the first line but that was kind of co complex because yeah I had to raise one part of the bridge because I couldn't do that with the trams so I just made the ro one road go up and it, it's now not as uh, symmetrical but it's probably fine also, my the city finally got to Grand City, I think, is the milestone, so we can build more things, but yeah, there isn't much interesting stuff available yet. I'm trying to get to like Metropolis and Meg Megalopolis, because that's when the interesting stuff starts happening. So. Now I'm setting up the lines and if you may have noticed there aren't loops at the end because I am using the new mod of called Reversible Tram AI and this is one of the best mods probably ever. It's not as game changing as like Move It, Road Anarchy or it doesn't do crazy stuff like Railway does, well railway is really more of a collection or yeah it's kind of a simple mod but not it's not really that simple. This mod basically allows the trams to reverse at the end station which is amazing for building cities which don't have tram loops and most of the modern cities don't have loops at the end because it's actually a bit more expensive to maintain a, a loop at the end yes with just a dead end you have to pay for four switches because you have to make the trams or vehicles the vehicles able to go from one track to the another but it's still cheaper than maintain maintaining a loop because loops often have to have two lanes for when for example one tram has an issue or if a tram has what was it yeah if a tram is later in the schedule so that's one of advantage it's cheaper to build dead ends but the next amazing thing is I will probably be able to finally make more realistic cities because well most of my cities aren't that realistic but more realistic in the sense that they might look better if you have seen looked at the underground or paused it you can see that 
there is quite a mess on the ground of tunnels well pedestrian tunnels but that's because I'm too lazy to set up overpasses but I think it's probably fine if I set up some other buildings there yeah I might set up more buildings in there to justify the tunnels but anyway now I'm detailing these parts by mostly putting a ton of trees in there and looking at the trams and I also built this small park on the island well I don't have park life parks so I just use park people gener generators and I try to add something like a beach because beaches are cool and right now the yeah, I'm building a tram stop right now, and I first thought it would look like this, but later on I change it, change it, change it up, because I originally intended for it for being like a place where the trams just wait for each other, but I switched it so the trams, and I actually moved the stops so and cancelled one st one stop. You might call it a waste of resources, I just call it change change of plans. And yeah, this part was kind of difficult to set up because I am not really good with intersection marking tool, but I am slowly improving. I still don't know how to make these those amazing patterns, but at least I now know how to make like fillers and templates. So right now I'm just detailing this so it looks a bit better and also adding trees. So also I am changing up the corner offsets because yeah it doesn't look really that realistic but in some places sharp curves make it look a bit interesting I also changed up the lights just so there is some there aren't like those massive highway lights but just tiny park lights not which makes it have more character. Anyway, if you have noticed that massive plot of land with just roads and nothing else, that's an area I'm planning to expand into, but I don't know when. Maybe during some stream or something? I don't know. But anyway, I had some issues like with the trams being extremely popular and that's quite the understatement. There was literally every tram was full so I had to increase the capacity. And by increasing the capacity I mean replacing all of the trams by double tram sets. Like having two in the like actual train or consist and yeah, that kind of solves it, but I'll look, keep a close lookout on it because I don't want to cause any traffic jams or have overcrowded service. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like, subscribe and put your thoughts in the comments below. I would also like to thank you for almost 90 subscribers. I think right now, but at the time of recording, I'm at 87. But anyway, see you in the domain.